After a great tour of New England's scenic side, today it's all about experiences, and our ultimate destination is Vermont. Along the way, we stop in a cute little town called Bath, New Hampshire, and this is a spot where you'll find just about everything you need, including the country's oldest consecutive run general store. Bath was settled back in 1761. It used to be a much bigger town in the heyday of the lumber industry, but today only about a thousand people call it home, along with three covered bridges, which apparently is quite the honor for one town. We're bigger than Boston. We cover 50 square miles, so just a lot of land, but not a lot of people. Mike Lesby and his wife own these three stores, which sit side by side. They left their big corporate jobs in Silicon Valley after seeing an ad in a magazine. That was 25 years ago. Just like the towns we discover, each store has its own personality. The general store is like walking back in time, that old school feel with the things you need or want, including some homemade fudge that is worth the calories. There's an art store where you can get personalized painted portraits. There's even a rock and roll ice cream parlor with more than 1,300 pieces of memorabilia and autographs. Ginger Baker from Cream, Jack Bruce from Cream, Sam Leach from the Beatles. From New Hampshire to Vermont, our next destination is a town called Queechee. Just over this covered bridge sits a scenic landscape highlighted with an old building that was once a woolen mill. Today, it's home to the Simon Pierce Glass Blowing Workshop, and inside, it's full of exquisite pieces of handmade art. But Simon uh, started his first workshop in Kilkenny, Ireland, 1971. It was a much smaller organization back then. Uh, he was barely a journeyman himself when he first started blowing glass. He had done some research around Europe looking, looking for designs. This isn't just about selling glass, it's about teaching people too. And it's here where you can watch up close to see how it's done. And it's one hot business. Our glory holes over here, our workstations, those are heated more like uh, 25, 2600 Fahrenheit. Wow, and that's just one. Just one of these, and we have five workstations going. And if some of these items look a little bit familiar, there's a good reason, especially if you've seen the movie Sweet Home Alabama. We were approached by their production company to use the glass um, for the movie. So we supplied, we supplied their set with all of, their, uh, all of the, the glass for the movie. They did inquire about using our facility um, to actually do some filming, but unfortunately we were, it would have had to slow down our production. Glass blowing is an ancient craft that takes a tremendous amount of skill, patience, and determination. Hardest thing about glass blowing, sticking with it showing up every day. From scenic stops to beating folks with special skills, our New England adventure has taken us all over, and it's clear that each spot has a story, a story that has made quite the impression on a group of Minnesotans who loved every minute of it. You meet new friends, some that are normal, some that are not, because when you're on the bus for hours sometimes, you see this happen. What in the world? <laughs> the friends are great, and sometimes they just change in a flash. <laughs>